Hello and welcome, my fellow outlaws, to issue number four of Redman Reviews. Today, we will be reviewing McFarland Toys, Rifter Infinite Frontier, plus a little extra Batman Urban Legends series. I picked a pullout number two because it's got Grifter in the back. Let's unbox this action figure. Again, something I love that McFarland does. Little hero card and a little stand. Pretty nice. Pop them out. Let's set them up. It comes with a knife too, but I'm just not going to pull that out. I don't feel like it. Just kidding. I'm pulling the knife out. I want to set them up to make them look cool. Grifter's hands are a little small for his knife. I don't ever have that problem. This is, Grifter's hands are really small. So if you're looking for a guy who can fit something big in his hand, don't go with Grifter. He can't handle a big one. I like Grifter, I'm just making a joke. Here we go, he's set up. No, you're not. Here we go, he's set up. Let's talk about the comic book series. So, Batman Urban Legends is pretty cool. I like to see introductions of new characters. Batman, inter Batman Urban Legends introduced Blue Hood, Red Hood's sidekick. It was pretty cool to see a new character in this comic book. But you guys aren't here to hear about Urban Legends, so let's talk about Grifter, who's in the back of the comic book. In the back of the comic book, we have... Oop, missed my page. Grifter in this. He meets Red Hood. Sweet little meat there. What we have, what we have in this book is he says... Looks like we go to the same tailor, except he likes me. Grifter says that, and it was funny because then Red Hood punches him right across the face. Grifter ends up winning the fight. I don't remember that, but you know, I guess I got hit by a train. Other than that, it was pretty cool. That's enough about this comic book. Let's talk about the action figure here. So, green jacket. I'm partial to black and red, but green jacket, whatever, I mean, that's what you want to go with. Blonde hair, I don't really like blonde hair. Um, nice, nice katana, uh, nice little knife, he's got a nice pack on his side, I like that. And there's no gun to holster, because not a holster. But got a nice utility belt there, and boots are pretty nice. I love how it has laces on the boots. A lot of action figures don't go the extra mile to actually put laces that look like real laces. Toes bend, which is pretty nice. A lot of action figures don't have bending toes, which is something like McFarland does that. They have a lot of bending joints. The ankles twist. Bending joints, you know. Who doesn't like a bending joint? Then we got his head swivel a little bit. It stops because it's hitting the jacket and his mask gets in the way. And a little funky. His hair is put on separately, but it's glued on from the from the company. But his hair, you can tell, isn't a part of the mask, which I think is kind of cool. It looks like it's tied. I've had other action figures I've looked at of Grifter that just is one piece. And just looks a little lazy. His hand swivels, turns, and then place the sword however you want to. His bicep swivels, pretty nice. You make it look like that, like all right. Coming at you. Ah, pretty cool. I like it. All in all, like the action figure, like the comic book, definitely recommend them both. And that's going to be the end of our video today. See you guys in the next one.